get this set up, shall we? Be ready in just a second, guys. Just pulling up the Explore website for the comments. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. We're all ready to do Meet the Dog. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Meet the Dog. I'm your friendly local kennel assistant, Chris, and with me today, standing directly behind me where you can't see her, is Alexis. Uh, Alexis is from the Schitt's Creek Litter, which I believe was born back in either May or April. I couldn't get the exact date. Uh, her parents were Paula and Watson, uh, so she is Fred, who was on here last week. It's his half-sister, actually. Uh, Alexis, our, our little munchkin here, is actually weighing in at 117 pounds. Her training strengths include her pace, her back walking, and uh, I mean her back up and her walking brace. Uh, but her weaknesses include her her recall can be a little bit on and off sometimes, depending on how distracted she is. Uh, and that also plays into it. Her focus uh, still needs a little bit of work. And another little thing that happens at the bar, not so much of a training thing, is she can get very jealous of other dogs when we are giving them attention. Uh, so that's something, I, I, I don't know how we're going to work on that with her, but uh, <laughs> some fun facts about Alexis. If I recall correctly, uh, her and her sister Moira were born free term, I believe, uh, oh, and she just closed that tab, so I'm going to open that up that real quick. Uh, I, 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 I think I recall them being born preterm. It was just the two of them, uh, Alexis and Moira, of the Schitt's Creek Litter. Uh, and so she's a little bit smaller than the other girls. Uh, just a little, just a little bit of a munch. Uh, but she is built like an ox. Things to know about Alexis is she is she's a little bit of a gremlin child, <laughs> as I've mentioned before. Uh, she can get very jealous very easily. Uh, if we are giving other dogs attention, she will start barking up a storm. It's been a real pain in the neck uh, lately. Uh, but uh, when you are giving her attention, as you can see, she is on her best behavior. She was third or fourth overnight I've ever done with a dog. Uh, and actually, I, I thought my, my standards for that one <laughs> were going in pretty low, and she ended up actually being one of the best overnights I've ever done with a dog. She was very well behaved, uh, very friendly, loved my parents immediately. Uh, so it was a, did not pee in the house, <laughs> which was nice. Um, she did very well. But yeah, so any questions about Alexis? It's just the one. I'm going to be opening it up to any questions about Miss Alexis here. Oh, yes, hi. Hello, hello, yes, I love you too. You're such a good girl. You're such an attention. Uh, any questions about Miss Alexis here? A little, a little gremlin child, Alexis.
questions about Alexis, I will try to think of anything. Uh, she does not have a great relationship with her sister Moira. Uh, that is one thing I guess I could toss in there. Uh, those two do not get along. Uh, they used to get along very well, incredibly well. We used to have them... It, uh, it was her, Moira, and Chloe all in a room together. And they got along swimmingly, but then one day uh, something just changed. Their dynamic changed. I don't know what, but they just... Uh, Alexis and Moira refused to get along. Uh, we could not put her... The, either of them with any other girls because they just wouldn't get along with them either. It's a very drastic change. I'm so really just not sure what happened there. Um, she's a real sweet girl. She's not an aggressive dog, but just, her and her sister just do not get along at all. She doesn't like Sandy either. Sandy, her and Sandy do not get along either. Uh, loves Fred and Sloan. They get along watching the cameras earlier, she was just playing in here with Sloan. Uh, they're having a fun time. She, she runs the other dogs ragged when she's playing, so we like to put her with uh, other dogs who can kind of handle that, and Sloan is definitely one of them. He, he can be pretty rambunctious himself. Uh, no questions about Alexis, huh? Well, the sound is on. Yeah, the sound is definitely on. Must be talking to myself right now. Uh, that was something. Let's see, anything else I can think of? Oh, this is my sister. A little munchkin gremlin. Absolutely bad. <laughs> Absolutely needs a bath. Oh man, you are filthy. Uh, Arlene Bush, uh, Bush, yeah. <laughs> Arlene Bush asks, are Moira and Alexis about the same size? Yeah, I would say they are, they're, they're about the same size. Last I saw Moira. Uh, Moira went out as a pet, uh, a few months back. Uh, she comes back here every so often to play. Uh, and I would say they are, they are about the same size. I would say Alexis is more muscular than uh, Moira, or at least last last I saw, uh, last I saw Moira, he, she she's a bit more muscular than Moira. Moira is a bit uh, a bit more chunky. It's always been like that too. I don't I don't know what it is with the two of them, but Alexis has always been like muscular and well built, and Moira always kind of looked a bit a bit chunkier. Uh, <laughs> not to say that wasn't very becoming of her. Uh, we, we we love our thick dog. Yeah, height-wise, they, they are about the same size. And I think weight. I think weight-wise, I think Alexis is a bit heavier than Moira actually, which surprised me. I thought Moira was going to be heavier. Uh, all right. Dog hair on my phone. I had to blow that off. Uh, probably don't have too much longer here, so we're gonna, uh, a few more minutes for any questions about Alexis. Oh, I forgot. She eats six cups a day, three in the morning, three in the evening. She has actually used to be a very fast eater, and recently she's slowed down. I don't know if that's just her maturing with, a, uh, with age, uh, or if uh, we had her up in Devo for a little while. I don't know if that maybe messed her up a little bit. Slowed down a lot in her eating. Uh, she used to chow down very fast. Uh, so, what else? What else about Miss Alexis? I'm trying to think of any, any funny stories I can think of involving Alexis. My goodness. Hello. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, Lexi. Facing the camera. We don't 
don't have a lot of dogs that face the camera. No, you are doing very well. Maybe not looking right at it, but hey, you got the direction down, and that's all we can ask. spots on her ear from a while back. She got into a fight with Sandy. Uh, her and Sandy also two dogs that do not like each other. Um, and for, unfortunately, one day they accidentally got together and thankfully no one was hurt. Uh, and she had a couple scars on her ear and when they, the hair grew back in, it grew back in white. So she has she's all black dog and then just this little flicks of white on her. Oh, okay, maybe you can see it now. Might be too far away to see. She has little flecks of white on her ears now. Um, I always thought that was interesting. But that's that, that's how it grew back in, rather than growing back in black like the rest of it. Good girl, you're doing very well, Alexis, huh? Yeah. You're a very pretty girl, Alexis. We love you. We all love you. Even if you're a real, a real gremlin about the barking at other dogs when you're jealous, we still love you. Uh, and hopefully, she'll be one of the next ones to go out. She, uh, if all things go well, I, I don't know. I, I, I've heard she's. I, I, she's not ready to go out, but I, I've, I've heard very good things about her training, so. Hopefully it won't be too much longer uh, before we can find a match for her. Isn't that right? Hmm? I'm sure she'll make a great service dog once she does that. She's a real sweetheart. She acts very differently when she's here and uh, when she's in homes. There's a lot of interference. Okay, maybe that's why no one's asking any questions. I don't know if it's because it's her walking over the court. Is not straight enough. Uh, is that any better? I'll give that a few minutes. I'll, I'll go a little bit extra, uh, a little bit longer since it was apparently hard to hear me. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, wasn't aware that. Uh, it wasn't coming in well. We'll give it another few minutes. Go to 320 instead. You are shedding like crazy. You need a bath. Uh, hopefully this is... I don't know. The cord's maybe just a bit tangled. Or if it's just you stepping on it. But you know what? Let's run. Hi. Yes. Hi. Let's try that. Let's see if that helps. Uh, hopefully, folks can hear me now. If she wasn't stepping on the court, okay, there we go. Hopefully, folks can hear me now. Um, if any any last minute questions about Miss Alexis, uh, hopefully, at least some of what I had talked about managed to uh, managed to come through. Uh, if it didn't, I apologize. I'll see what I can do about the sound quality next week. Could you not do that? Thank you. Leave it. Hmm. Alright, 
I'm not sure what's going on then if it's not the it might, it might be the cable I'm not sure but if it's not the cable I'm not sure what else Let's see if I can fix this. Come on. Move, 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 move. I'm going to let her off leash for a second so I can try to fix that. Go. go, go, go. Uh, oh, 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 careful, careful. There we go. Is that any better? Probably not going to have any more time for questions, unfortunately, but I at least want to figure this out to see if it's a, a wire thing or something else is going on that I don't know about. better. I mean, I'm off camera at that point, so that, I'm sure that doesn't really help, but I just want to figure out the sound quality at this point. Let's see. Nothing yet, so I get the feeling that's not an improvement. Hmm. Something's going on. All right. I th think we're going to call it here for today. Um, what are you doing back there? Leave that. I think we're going to call it here for today, unless I get a comment later about uh, this having improved. Oh, hold on. Okay, so it is just... From where I was sitting, it was just a bit too crinkled up, so I'll uh, see what I can do about that next time. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time left, so I'm going to have to call it here. Uh, hopefully, you guys heard at least some of the things I was able to say about Alexis. I'm sorry if you couldn't, um, but we will be back next week. I will make sure to... Uh, position myself in the way that I can stretch the cord out a bit better like I am now uh, and I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, sorry again about the bad sound quality. Have a good night everyone.